welcome to another episode of Elisa's Eats, and today is International Waffle Day. So we're gonna be making waffles. <laughs> like donkey, hashtag Shrek. Anyway, these are basic recipe. They're light, they're fluffy. There are other types of waffles, like league waffles, buttermilk waffles. We'll do those another time. This is just basic, quick waffles. Let's do it. So these are the ingredients you're gonna need. So you're going to need two cups of plain flour, one tablespoon of cooking oil, I'm using a blend of vegetable and canola, two teaspoons of vanilla bean paste or vanilla extract, one tablespoon and one teaspoon of baking powder, not bicarb soda, one teaspoon of lemon zest, half a cup or about 112 grams of melted unsalted butter, one quarter cup caster sugar, and half a teaspoon of salt, one and a half cups of whole milk. I'm using whole milk because I like it a little bit more creamy. You can use any kind of milk though. Two eggs at room temperature, and that's it. So this recipe is really quick. It's an absolute staple in my house because it is that quick, and then you can have waffles whenever you want. It's amazing. So I say, let's get started because I want waffles. So what we're gonna do first is separate all of our dry ingredients, the flour, the baking powder, sugar and salt into one bowl and sift that together to get rid of lumps. And then we're going to add all of our liquid into another bowl and then eventually combine the two. It's that simple, oh my gosh. So once you've combined all your dry ingredients, we're just gonna whisk it together. This helps get rid of any lumps in the flour and just gives us a nice smooth batter. Of course you can sift these, but that's extra equipment that gets dirty and Elise is a bit lazy today. So what you need to do is make a well in your dry mixture and we're going to take our wet mixture and just pour it into the middle and slowly whisk it together. Only add about a third of the mixture to start with. The reason we add it slowly like this is to help prevent lumps forming. So once it's kind of made a mini dough on the inside, we add more of our batter. Now, our batter literally took us like a minute to put together. We've preheated our waffle iron. I've got a very expensive one that I got from Target. Um, but if you have a really good waffle iron, it's probably a lot better than mine. So read the instructions on exactly the um, cooking times because they're all gonna vary because they're different like powers. Mine takes about four minutes to cook. And then if you ever find that your waffles are a bit floppy still when they come out, put them in the toaster or the oven to really crisp them up. Pro tip from a waffle lover. So you want your waffles to come out with a bit of color. You want them to sound like this. This means they're nice and crispy and they're gonna be beautiful. Again, if you want them crispier, toaster or oven for a little bit. Now we'll just repeat with the rest of the dough. Okay guys, so that's how you make very basic waffles, but they smell amazing, they sound amazing, they look amazing, and I can bet you they taste amazing. Because these are much more of a crispy kind of waffle, and I'm just so ready, so let's eat. You can have the top one. Oh, thank you. You can always pour, you we put... to get a knife or something? I was just gonna go hands. 
Okay, we can see that. Why not? Here you go, my love. Mm, that's just a good basic waffle right there. Oh yeah. Mm. You've got your maple syrup and your butter. Mm. That's and perfect. It's, it's still crunchy even if there's the so uh, syrup on it. Mm. Mm. But it's it. the it's a good base for anything. You could do fried chicken waffles. You could even do savory waffles. You could put anything on this. But if you have a stack of freshly made waffles, some cut up fruit, maple syrup, cream, butter, you can't go wrong. Happy International Waffle Day with Happy basic waffles. Happy International Waffle Day. Waffle. Stop waffling oh. on. <laughs> Stop waffling on. Stop waffling what? on. <laughs> you can't think of one. But I don't want to. Leave. Yeah, okay. Hey, hey guys, guys thanks, thanks for watching this video. video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. And leave a comment in the section below so that we can make something you've always wanted to eat. Because I love it. <laughs> Bye. Preferably anime or something TV related or something like that or something awesome game related.